Welcome back guys to Phoenix Wright Jewel Destinies. The finale is upon us with Fulbright obviously the phantom at this point in time. The mood matrix display showed the psych profile to be true, an old sense of emotion which he then countered with overflowing emotion. However, he is still fearful. Fearful of the moon rock for some reason, of which we propose that DNA evidence must have been on it. However, we have to prove where it's been stowed all this time, as we look for the link to bring the dark age of the law to an end. I think it's time to go all the way. We're not stopping, we're continuing. Does this mean that the moon rock is still somewhere in the space center? In the name of justice, I proclaim that's impossible. And why's that? The space center was searched from top to bottom, and especially the lab. But the moon rock was never found. Ah, how could I forget about that? A sad but true fact. We still have to grasp on how it was done. But the phantom made the moon rock vanish into the ether. There's no way it just disappeared. Logic and evidence tell us otherwise. The phantom didn't have the moon rock on him when he left the lab. Yet, a thorough police search didn't turn up anything. And it never turned up in the seven years after that either. The phantom made the rock disappear without physically removing it himself. But how? There must have been a way. Think, Phoenix, think. How did the moon rock vanish from the robotics lab? Oh god. Oh my god, it's... So can you or can you not show what happened to the moon rock, Mr. Wright? Yes, I can, Your Honor. Thank you, pictures. What? Oops, uh, sorry, I mean, what? <laughs> what? In that case, let's have your answer, Mr. Wright. How did the phantom make the moon rock disappear from the crime scene? <gasps> the pictures, the pictures, man. There is... A container that was at the crime scene seven years ago. It was launched into space and only returned to Earth three day a few days ago. The Hope capsule. He put the rock in the capsule. Sent the rock out to space. Because that was where it was scheduled to go. And of course it only just came back as evidence. A little bit ago. And that's why Clay had to die. Well, that's why he had to be there and bomb it again. How crazy is that? The evidence went to space. Is that really what's happened? Take that! That's the Hope capsule, right? The one that went up with the Had One rocket. He couldn't carry the rock out, but he couldn't leave it in the center to be found either. So there was only one safe place to stash it. The Hope capsule that was there in the lab that day. Hmm, yes, and that he must have loaded into the Hope space probe eventually. But if that what happened, then the moon rock would have been launched up into space along with the rocket. Preposterous! It would mean that for these past seven years, the moon rock was... Exactly. The Phantom got rid of the moon rock in the most cosmic way he knew how. It was out there in the depths of space. Aboard the Hope Space Probe. What? 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 <laughs> That's crazy planning. Order! Order in the court. I understand now. The Phantom's original scheme was to sabotage the Hope One anyway. The villain. He used his primary objective to conveniently kill two birds with one stone. That's right, he planned for the moon rock to be turned into cosmic dust out in space. Thereby destroying the one piece of evidence that could reveal his true identity. But Mr. Starbuck and the others foiled the Phantom's plot. <sighs> I hope Space Probe sailed off safely on its mission and returned seven years later. With the capsule in tow. Ah! If we analyze the blood on the moon rock, it should make one thing crystal clear. You were the phantom all along, Detective Fulbright. 
So he killed Clay just so he could get the moon rock back. I believe so. His original assignment may have been just to sabotage the hat too, but at the same time, he also had to retrieve the evidence of his crimes seven years ago. That's why he went to the boarding lounge and attacked Clay as he made his escape out of the rocket with a capsule. But in the end, it was all he could do just to escape himself, so he didn't get the capsule. Clay must have done everything he could to stop Fulbright. He probably hung on to that capsule for all he was worth until his very last breath. Ah! <laughs> no, this is so funny! You make me laugh, you really do! Boy, he's totally out of whack now. It's game over if you detected Fulbright. Why don't you just admit to it all now? There's nothing to admit! I'm Bobby Fulbright, undercover investigator, I tell you! I'm not the Phantom! The blood on the rock is just another one of his schemes! A trap! Hmm. And I'm not sure what to think. I suppose if the Phantom is a spy with his salt or trap, it's not out of the question. Objection! But in that case, you could say anything is a trap. <laughs> That's what makes a trap! I mean, flame is taking the blame for the Phantom! Your Honor, I believe further investigation is in order! Silence! Further investigation. More like plotting your escape. But no more. I will bring you to justice myself if I must. Here and now. I guess it's time to show you. Just what I'm really capable of. Die, Simon Blackwill! What? Hey, hey! You guys aren't really... Oh, finally! Give me my evidence! It looks like I made it just in time. Hedgeworth! I have good news for you, Mr. Wright. I've uncovered some very crucial facts. You did say you were looking. This is what I was waiting for. Did you find something out about the Phantom's true identity? You might say that. I started by looking into the first people on the scene seven years ago. All three. An employee and two officers were registered in the robot's recognition systems. But none of them looked the least bit like Detective Fulbright. That's not good. But there's more. I've yet to share my most important finding. Mr. Wright, Prosecutor Blackwell. You'd best brace yourself. Uh-oh. The man you see there before you, Bobby Fulbright, is already long dead. Huh? What? What's that supposed to mean? An unidentified body that was found a year ago has now been proven to possess Bobby Fulbright's fingerprints. And does this mean? Yes, that man there is an imposter pretending to be Bobby Fulbright. An, an imposter? And then this man! Who in the world is he? Enough of your trickery. If you will not reveal yourself to us, then I shall do it for you. Huh? That's freaky. What the? No! Uh, he, he, uh, 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 his face! Oh, look what you did to my mask. M mask? What is the meaning of this witness? Okay, you got me. I guess I have to show you who I really am now. What? Wait, but that's... Hey, Apollo. Yep, it's me, Solomon Starbuck. Mr. Starbuck, but that can't be right. You can't really be the Phantom, can you? Silence. Of course not. The real Starbuck was aboard the Hat One, which was set to be destroyed. Ah, uh, yeah. This is just another mask. I mean, didn't I tell you? I'm an undercover investigator. I can change identities at will. I can be anyone I want. 
Not so fast. I have the Phantom Psych Profile right here. If we can pile a Psych Profile on you and compare the results, it will prove that you're the Phantom. What? It's time for me to show you the real meaning of the phrase, the end justifies the means. The, that voice, those words. What? I cannot accept such evidence here, Miss Sykes. P Professor Means? M masks? I'll take what I want by any means necessary. Now give me that evidence. Huh? Oh wow, they got the site profile. Hmm. The time to take out the trash. Permanently. How could you? And now do you see how powerful the end justifies the means can be? Silence. How prophetic. You can't even speak without wearing another man's face. Ah, well that's the life of an undercover agent for you. My real face has no meaning or value to me at all. Or perhaps it is really the case that... You don't even know who you are anymore. Hmm. What must you see when you look in a mirror, Mr. Phantom? Not an awful lot, I'd wager. Well, aren't you just the master of psychology, Blackwill? That's right. I don't know who I am. I am always living as someone else for my assignments. I don't remember what my face looks like. Or even what my personality was like. My face. Memories, personality, beliefs, emotions, and soul. I left them all behind. I have no self. I am no one. I am nothing but an endless abyss. But what's with this guy? Is he even still human? And now we resume with your lesson, Professor Wright. Oh? Uh, huh? I believe you made this argument earlier. If you were to analyze the blood on the moon rock, you could prove that I am the phantom. I believe there was blood on the moon rock in that capsule. Now that we know you aren't even Bobby Fulbright, your claims of a phantom trap won't work anymore. Then why don't you bring this moon rock in? This decisive evidence from the Hope capsule. I think I will do just that. Get ready, because the Hope Capsule is about to seal your... F fudge! It was the courtroom bombing from the other day! The capsule was there in the courtroom as evidence and was blown to smithereens! It looks like you have finally caught on. Full marks of defense for effort! But what a shame your hope was lost in that courtroom explosion. Uh, ah! So that's the real reason this courtroom was blown up. It was all for the Phantom to destroy that one piece of evidence. I can't believe it! Have we really reached a dead end after coming all this way? Has the only evidence we have on this guy really been destroyed? How dare you continue to call me the Phantom! As I've said all along, I'm just a nameless undercover agent. Objection! And the defense will continue to assert that you are the Phantom. Furthermore, we have proof. Or at least, a prayer. I'm afraid that won't do, Mr. Wright. Uh, at least put some weight behind your swing, right, Dodo? Uh, I know, I'm trying! There's only one thing that can unmask this menace, the moon rock. But that was blown to bits in the courtroom bombing. And yet, is it really gone without a trace? What if some tiny part, some little fragment still exists? Yes, and you can see the stolen moon rock there too. A strange black and yellow thing on the left side of the picture. Very well, Mr. Wright. Let's see your proof. What evidence will finally prove Phantom's identity? 
Well then... Let's look through everything here. We've got the phony Fanti. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, okay, we got the phony Fanti. I was going to look through it all to then actually, like, analyze stuff. Oh my god, it's right there. It's right there, 7k. Straight the first thing we use. Of course, like, we got it. I was going to have to look through, like, evidence we haven't looked through yet before. Because we've used a lightner, that's not going to prove anything. The emergency ladder wasn't going to prove anything. Or a statement is already kind of used and done. Launchpad 1 lo door lock, I think, is done and dusted. Security camera video, we don't even need that. I don't think we never needed that. Devon's autopsy report, we haven't used that either, I don't think. But still, I don't think we need it. The moon rock earring. The stone was cut from a real moon rock that was being used for research. That could be a possibility, but that doesn't... That would have been prior to anything happening. So the hat one exhibit doesn't show the moon rock. This doesn't show the moon rock. The only actual thing that shows the moon rock, apart from that paper clipping, now actually happens to be the phony fancy. I, I looked at this page and I didn't even notice anything out of place until you look at it now. It's that. Take that. It's not anything else. It's this. Hmm. Isn't that the bomb that blew up the courtroom and the moon rock along with it? Are you saying this will reveal the phantom's identity? Yes, Your Honor. Focus your attention on this photo taken after the bombing. Specifically, right here. This is under item 7K. Please take a look at this newspaper article. This article about the hat won. Now please note the strange black and yellow rock there on the left. That's the moon rock. And when we look at this photo of the bomb fragments... See how there is a rock-like object with the same coloration? Oh my! Yes, I see it! It would seem that the moon rock was much more durable than the Phantom thought. If we take a look at all the fragments that the police found, we'll likely find one with blood. And DNA testing on that blood will prove that the witness is indeed the Phantom. Unbelievable! But, but, but that's impossible! <laughs> a surprise, to be sure. That's one bloody tough rock. Let's have the fragments tested straight away. Oh, and you'll be having a DNA test too, Fulbright. A bailiff, a contact the police department immediately and order the testing. Brought to you to Black Will. What do the test results show? That was a rock fragment that had blood on it that appeared to be several years old. DNA testing revealed. Well, I'm sure you know full well what it revealed. Uh, they confirmed it was the witness's blood, didn't they? There's no use in trying to talk your way out of it anymore. Admit it, you are the phantom. Objection! Wait, what? That with me? Huh? Mr. Wright? Did you just raise an objection to yourself? No, I didn't say a word. That was my objection, Apollo. Huh? This man has a talent. <laughs> Why? <laughs> it was a pretty good objection too, don't you think? Now he's me? Uh, so, um, uh, did you have an objection or not, Mr. Wright? Huh? Oh, uh, no. Not really, Your Honor. Uh, no, not you, Mr. Wright. I mean the witness, Mr. Wright. Could this trial get any more insane? Mr. Wright, this fragment of rock in the photograph and those just like it. How can you be sure they're pieces of the same moon rock that was at the robotics lab? Care to explain what you mean? Well, there may have been a rock or two in the courtroom that had my blood on it. But how would you know they're not just rocks? You can't prove they're THE moon rock, right? Objection! Don't be absurd! Just compare the fragment with the rock in the newspaper article. Anybody can see they're the same. 
They have the exact same coloration. Objection! But maybe some other rock with the same coloration happened to be in the courtroom. It's highly unlikely a rock with such a unique appearance just happened to be here. But you can't deny it's a possibility. Objection! But your blood was found on one of the fragments! Apollo, there's nothing suspicious about my blood being on a piece of rock. And why not? I know it sounds like an excuse, but... Several years ago, I tripped and fell in this very courtroom and was hurt pretty badly. Maybe that's how my blood found its way into a piece of rubble. Even he must realize how ridiculous that sounds. Because Bobby Ford... <laughs> Wait, he's uh, dead. And yet, I suppose it's not completely out of the question. Haha. <laughs> I see you're starting to sweat, Mr. Wright. I thought that the worst of times are when lawyers have to force their biggest smiles. You're the last person I want to hear that from. Oh well. Then, why don't we get those fragments analyzed? We could ask an expert to verify if they were of the moon rock in the robotics lab or not. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid that just isn't going to be possible. And why not? In order to prove that the fragments are from what you say they are from, you'd need a sample of the moon rock from seven years ago to compare it with. But that moon rock doesn't exist anymore, and there's no sample data left either. Or so you think. So you see, short of going back in time, there's no way to prove that any of the fragments are from that moon rock. Oh, no! There's really no way to prove it. <laughs> are you finally ready to throw in the towel? Objection! So the moon rock doesn't exist anymore, huh? That's right. It was such a valuable rock too. A shame, really. But it's lost to us forever. He's wrong. It's not completely lost. There's another piece of it right here by our side. A shining fragment of hope that can turn everything around. The final piece of evidence to put this phantom away for good. That makes me feel good about looking at the court record again. The defense has a piece of evidence that completely contradicts your claim. You have what now? The final fragment of hope that was passed down with great love and care. We do. We do. Even if the person holding it hasn't realized it yet. Is this true, Mr. Wright? Pay no attention to him, Your Honor. He's just bluffing as usual. I wonder if you'll be able to force your biggest smile when you see what I've got. Try me. The piece of evidence that shows the original Moonrock isn't completely lost is this. The Moonrock earring, an earring that Dr. Sykes gave to Athena the stone was cut from a real Moonrock that was being used for research. The Moonrock that was, yeah, from the yellow bit, obviously. But that's your sample. And that's game. But just about the only things my mother left with me are widget. Unless anything else happens. And this earring. Maybe she did love me in her own way. Athena, you may not know it, but your mother left with you a very important piece of evidence. She did. You're bluffing. You didn't have anything of the kind. Oh, but we do. Evidence that will finally corner you. Because we have a moon rock of our own. Yeah! Uh, oh! You, you mean... You mean... Exactly. A gift Dr. Sykes left her daughter. An item Athena has cherished and worn all these years. As distant as Dr. Sykes may have seemed to her daughter that fragment of her love. Shake off the darkness of the past and give us all hope for the future. This is a defense's sample of the moon rock. Take that! That's your sample? This earring that Miss Sykes always wears was made from that original moon rock. What? All this time? 
It was right here all along. No. Ah, uh, it can't be. If the composition of the bomb fragments in the earring are found to be a match, then it will prove beyond the shadow of a doubt the origin of the fragment in this photo. And since the test results show that the blood on the fragments was yours, this means that the identity you try so hard to hide will finally be revealed. The identity I try to hide? I... I don't have an identity to hide! I may not have Athena's ears, but now, even I can hear the fear in your voice. F fear? I, I... I don't feel fear. I left all my emotions behind years ago. Objection. Every human being feels fear. You simply can't face the emotions inside of you. You can't face them because you have nothing. No love. No trust. And I suppose you do. I didn't have anybody to support me at first, either. I couldn't face the fear inside me. Couldn't get over the trauma of my past. Like I said, I don't feel fear. Objection! Then you're just a coward for running away from yourself. When I had my doubts about Miss Sykes, I felt like I would collapse under the weight. But I wanted to trust her. And I knew I could trust Mr. Wright to uncover the truth. And that's why I was able to face my suspicions without hesitation. Running away from myself. <laughs> I'm gonna run away from myself! When there's nothing inside. Nothing at all. Objection! I know it's hard for someone as unwilling to trust others as you to understand. But people have emotions. It's just a fact of life. And so people can be weak at times. But that's exactly why people need to trust one another. So they can gain the strength to face themselves when things are at their bleakest. Without trust in others, how can you ever hope to face your fears? The fear inside of me? Is this... No. Ah! Ah! Whoa! Eyes! I'm afraid! I'm scared! Ah! I feel fear! You can't outrun yourself. Remove that mask and unleash your emotions. Confront your guilt head on. With your own true face. My own true face. No, please don't. I know you're here. Where are you? See, I haven't revealed anything yet. Honest. Uh, uh, my own true face. I don't have one. My face, my face, my face. Is this my face? Is it? Is it? No. That's not it. No! This isn't me either. Ah! Is this me? Which one is my face? What am I? Who am I? Ah! Ah! Holy! <laughs> Whoa! He got shot. Ugh. A sniper attack in this very courtroom. It chills me to my bones. But the police are doing everything they can to track down the sniper as we speak. What a good black will. How is Detective Fulbright? I mean... It's imposter doing. He's a lucky fellow. 
and the bullet didn't hit any vital organs. He appears to be in no danger of dying. Well, that was fortunate for all of us. The analysis of that final piece of evidence right Dono submitted is in. The composition of Miss Sykes' earrings and the fragment with the blood on it match. We can now be certain that it is a fragment of the moon rock in question. The murders and bombings at the space center, both past and present. The bombing of courtroom number four and all of his other crimes as numerous as the stars. Under suspicion of all of these things, the spy known as the Phantom has been incarcerated. The prosecutor's office is now responsible for his well-being. There are still a myriad of things we wish him to tell us about, after all. Thank you, Prosecutor Blackwill. Well, it's time to finally bring this trial to an end. But before I do, will the defendant please return to a proper place? D yes, Your Honor. Now then, this court finds the defendant of Fina Sykes. And finally, we get the verdict. Really? I'd say Phoenix Wright has been more about catching horrible individuals than it has about defending at this point in time. That's definitely the more satisfying thing, and it's generally what the game builds up to. But not guilty for Athena. Everyone is free. The court is adjourned! And so, late at night. We leave the courtroom at last. Victorious. Congratulations, Mr. Nick! Thank you, Pearls. And thank you for being there for Athena. It's the least I could do. But Athena was great, wasn't she? She was so strong throughout the whole trial. Daddy! I'm so glad to see you! Trucy, are you alright? Are you hurt? I'm fine, Daddy. I was doing magic tricks for the other hostages to keep our spirits up. I saw Trucy for you. I'm really glad to see you're safe. Right. I feel I owe you yet another debt of gratitude. Edgeworth. We never would have caught him if it weren't for you, all of you. Ah, oh, come on, Edgeworth. What are you talking about? You're the ones who have been tracking the Phantom all this time. Plus, you were the one who gave Blackwell permission to serve as prosecutor, right? Yes, well... We knew the Phantom was somewhere nearby. The police and I were trying to find him, but we never did manage to do so into this trial. Well, we never would have won this trial without you. It was your help as Chief Prosecutor that was the key to a successful conclusion. Besides... It was you that saw to it I got my attorney's badge back, wasn't it? So you figured it out, did you? Yeah, getting my license back went just a little too smoothly, you know. It should be much harder after that evidence-forging scandal. Well, I owed you a few favours. Hey, Edgeworth. Think we can finally bring the dark age of the law to an end? Even the darkest night turns to dawn eventually. Our sun will rise again. Besides, now that the prosecutor Blackwell has been cleared of all charges, a great deal of the mistrust towards the court system should have been swept away. You know, you could have said that with a bigger smile, Edgeworth. It won't kill you. Instead, the furrows in that brow of yours just keep getting deeper and deeper. So I should smile more, huh? I'll think about it. Ah, the complicated love-hate relationship between lifelong rivals. Athena. Who's this? Ah, Blackwell, hi. I'm forever in your debt. You went to all that trouble. Even taking the bar exam while you were overseas. Well, I knew that if I didn't get your sentence overturned fast, you'd be executed. So I studied and studied. I was frantic. I'm so glad I made it in time. Just barely. But I still made it. That a girl, Athena. It's good to see you finally let your tears out. Yes. I survived by the skin of my teeth, thanks to you. Sh Shame on you, Simon, for 
trying to throw your life away like that? It was never my intention to just throw my life away. Some things in this world are more important than your own life. Like what? My honor-bound duty to protect with my life. My mentor's most beloved treasure. Huh? That's some loyalty. This guy really is a samurai through and through. Well, it looks like we can breathe easy now. Apollo, Athena, thank you both. It took all of us together to pull it off. You bet, boss. What a team we are, huh? It was definitely the most amazing turnabout I've ever seen. I'm a lucky guy. My office is the best, most capable lawyers around. It does. Thanks, Mr. Wright. I'm going to work extra hard to make up for all the worry I caused. Apollo Justice is fine and ready to go. Let's hear it from the right any for the right anything agency. Oh, nobody's going to try harder than me, so you better watch out, Apollo. Simon is free, thanks to Mr. Wright. But there are so many more people out there who need our help. You're right, and I'll be needing you both to help them. We still have a long way to go. Get ready, you two. We won a major victory, but the war is far from over. There are still people out there suffering under false charges who need defending. We've got a lot of work ahead of us. If we ever hope to fully bring the dark age of the law to a close. Hey, I know one thing we have to do. We have to celebrate. We have a bowl of piping hot noodles. Please stop going there, you'll get ill. Huh? Nothing like a bowl of Eldoon's noodles after a trial, all on Mr. Wright's tab. That's how it works at the Wright Anything Agency. Right, Mr. Wright? Huh? Huh? <laughs> As a boss, it's your duty to express gratitude to your people for their great work. In that case, allow me to join in the festivities. I would greatly welcome a bowl of noodles. Huh? 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 I have an idea, Daddy. Why don't you just invite everybody involved with the case? The more the merrier, right? Oh, Mr. Nick, look how far you've come. Who knew you'd grow up to be such a generous gentleman? Ha <laughs> Um, guys, under these circumstances, there's only one thing I can say. Only if I get to join in. Hey, no fair. I want to say it too. Okay, here we go. Ah, oh, got to do it with the microphone, yeah? Does it just work anyway? OBJECTION! OBJECTION! Yeah! That's a nice... <laughs> For some reason that gave me the chill. <laughs> I was trying to think of something nice I could do for Polly now that he's back. So I decided to go around and get a bunch of jobs for him to do. Find a lost cat. <laughs> Stole an air conditioner. Give a computer lesson. Find a lost item. Ah, you think I should have found him a few legal cases? Nah, that's okay. This is the right anything agency after all. So the credits roll. The game is complete with a sexy lead out. Peter and Apollo were so wonderful in court. I better study as much as I can if I want to be a judge someday. My grandma says, eat lots of peppers and they'll ignite your passion. Oh really? Oh, but I should figure out which to grow. Green peppers or yellow peppers? Or maybe I should go with hot as the sun red peppers instead. If they're standard cooking peppers, none of them are hot. <laughs> Not at all. Peppers as I know them. I know there's pepper, 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 pepper. Bell peppers, that's the one. The end of the dark age of the law, you say? How naive. Don't you know it's sometimes necessary to get a guilty verdict by any means possible? What? And they're putting me under investigation? The chief prosecutor wants to see me? Nah! Yeah, so they should. Now this is the time where basically Miles will just do a sweep of his offices and clear out all the trash. But you can't really do that on the fence side, because the fence is like, oh, I don't know, maybe the bar exam will exclude people, I don't know. I've been asked to debut the great mass of Temtar. He's scheduled to go up against the Amazing Nine Tails next, though. Oh, what to do? What to do? A fight to the finish with myself? Why don't you ask Mr. Demon Lawyer to be the Amazing Nine Tails, too? That's not a bad idea. I bet he'd be all for it. Ha 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 ha! So we're to meet as foes, are we, my little friend? The Amazing Demon Lawyer. Uh oh. I don't want to go! I'm not buff enough! We 
Would you believe it? I'm holding him in a nine tails well now. Pretty impressive, eh? I took over after Rex QB for the good of my beloved village. What do you say? Would you like to make a little donation to help us out? Hey, you. What do you think you're doing sneaking in the manor? Ah, the jig's up. Better make a run for it. Run away indeed. <laughs> Who else are we going to see? Ah, I thought I wanted to be an artist, but after seeing the amazing job Athena did, I started becoming genuinely interested in law. So now I'm studying for the bar exam. Ah, I'm going to prosecute Athena someday. You'll see. E -E. S E E. <laughs> Study my buns off too, but not for the bar exam. I'm going to pass the famous entrance exam on my own merit this time. With a score of 100 points, of course. <laughs> Hugh, Juniper, our dream will live on forever! <laughs> Literally, because she did the wig wiggle finger pose, I went, huh, instead of you. I found really sweet boxes for all three of them, but they won't wear them. Is it because I want to be a legal journalist instead of a lawyer or a judge? But anyway, thanks to the trial, the school newspaper's future is as bright as can be. Let's see what the fresh blood have to say in the new school paper. Our editor cried so hard at graduation rehearsal, her cardboard box got soggy. Yep. You also have to understand that people don't normally wear cardboard boxes there, Mrs. Scuttlebutt. Mrs.? When did she get married? The one night only reunion concert. I still remember that evening of passion. The president of the student council sang like no high school student I've ever heard. When she's a judge in her own court someday, I'd love to have a jam session with her. It'll be the coolest trial ever, yeah? I can already hear it now. Yeah, baby. <laughs> I can't even talk about the game because we're going to another scene. I give this place a good cleaning from top to bottom. But it's already a mess again. Well, it will be. I guess the only thing I can do now is clean up the attitudes of the people in this office. With Mystic Maya due to come here once the training is over, it simply must be done. <gasps> Maya? She coming back, finally. Better be sooner rather than later, come on. Ha ha ha! Humanity's dreams for outer space will never die! In fact, planning for the hat-free rocket has already officially begun! Look upon me, people of this great nation, and witness the glory of the early cosmos! What do you... Oh, Director! Yes, yes, rocket preparations are fully complete. Yes. You just leave everything to me! Assistant Director Yuri Cosmos! I always do the hand pose when I do his voice, by the way. We've got to get in character. I said I was like having struggles remembering people's voices at the moment <laughs> when they used to go with flipping room people. I'm going to the moon in the new rocket. If Avina or Mummy Metis come to the moon, I would love to show them around. But which is more interesting? Montes Planas or the Mare Tranquillitas? You think they would like either one? Yay, hooray. I wonder how Miss Aura is doing. I'd rather be near Miss Aura than on the moon. Oh, Miss Aura, I just want you to use me again like you used to. Ah, oh, I love robot voice. You know I love robot voice. Because it was all in yellow text is why I did everything. The ro robot voice as well, even if other people spoke through the robots. Ready for launch? Five, four, three, two, one. Lift off! I'm going to the moon for real this time. For me and for Clay. Thanks to my lawyers, I know now I should never give up. But I'm worried. You can't breathe in space. And in fact, it's cold as heck. Oh man, I'm getting really nervous. <sighs> I think he needs a buddy to go up to space with at the very least. I think they should train someone else to go up. You can't leave him on his own. No, I'm not employed here. I simply came to request their services and defenses of my sister. When no one's around and I've been kept waiting for a long time. And what sort of case brings you here? Oh, your father was accused and you wish for Athena to defend him? <laughs> then perhaps... He and I shall meet in a courtroom in the near future. Another case has already come in. Surely we should be the most famous defense by now. Everyone should be coming to the right age anything agency. But it's interesting that he chooses to, de to defend his sister. He chooses Phoenix. I look forward to your next month's salary assessment. Ah! Please forgive me! Blackwell's acquittal has brought all manner of ills in the prosecutor's office to light. It would seem solving that case has fought the chill of winter into the warmth of spring. Now I overwrite yet another debt of gratitude. But I will pay him one day. You can trust in that. Just to think that Aura should probably get off. 
just based on not having done something horrifically bad that worked out superly, stupidly badly. I'd imagine she gets off on the fact that it brought to life this whole thing, solved murder, solved the dark age of the law. I imagine even if she is punished in the slightest part, that she will be given a lenient sentence, at the very least. She didn't actually harm people by the look of it. She did cause a hostage situation, but it was all for a cause that did clear up everything and was technically what the prosecution were always working for. And, you know, the defense, but basically that means the prosecution, official law, were working towards this happening and that facilitated it. So you've got to imagine that she will get off probably pretty fairly easily, is what I think. She didn't murder anyone, though. I think she's definitely a capable woman of it, mind you. Ah, <sighs> frets. Frets, but no action in the end. I imagine she'll get off. But that's the full game credits of rolling! We finally completed Dual Destiny's yet another Phoenix Wright game. And technically, I think if I'm right, the first one that I've played in the actual 3DS era. Oh, wait a second, no, Apollo Justice was as well, but then I played the re remake of it. I'm, I'm really confused now. Was Apollo Justice original or DS or 3DS? I can't even remember it anymore. But a new age of Phoenix Wright, an older Phoenix Wright, with a cast of characters having grown even bigger. And how right was it that if this whole thing is themed around those characters and, you know, the psychology aspect, that basically we end up with a sociopath as our final villain? It seems a bit weird that he would be the villain in the end because he's been so nice throughout all of it. In justice we trust. But it also makes, like, complete and utter perfect sense as well. You don't put a character in a Phoenix Wright game if they're not going to be accused of a crime and having to either be defended at some point or be a villain. That's just how Phoenix storylines write, so you can guess that something's going to happen. Usually, of course, part of the script for Phoenix Wright is the, uh, the defendant by your side or whoever's like the a companion character of the main character will get charged at some point in time as Athena did at the end so that was expected you could say of course like in Apollo Justice it was technically it was Phoenix who had a case about Luna for a fair bit you know stuff like that happens it's it's a trope that Phoenix Wright has to try to subvert and I think it did it nicely because, of course, we bring forth the Black Cyclops again. We found a way round them. I don't think we broke... We didn't break them with the Magadama after all. They broke themselves. And we found ourselves a true villain. Who lost himself. No identity. Fulbright, whatever your name is, the Phantom. Enjoy your time in jail. <laughs> and so, it comes to an end. Yet another beautiful game of chopped up logic and lore. And I think we barely had any penalties, which is great. And I guess it's the fitting ending. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Minus 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7. Just believe in yourself. The moon's closer than you think!
Well, super lawyer he is, eh? Through the years, I've seen as much joy as heartache, honesty as deceit. But just as Mr. Starbuck was able to escape the harsh pull of his fears and despair, I believe the hope and friendship can lift us all up towards a brighter tomorrow. And so ends Dual Destinies. Illustrations and anime cutscenes galleries have been unlocked. Please go to the extras and DLC to view them. Illustrations, you say? <laughs> Title screen. I want to see the splash screen as well for the chapter select. As we pretty much end off. So let's go episode select. Let's see the actual splash screen. For episode 5. Turnabout for tomorrow. Seeing the black cyclops once again. I wondered if we'd ever... Kind of go back to Gavin's Cyclock and try to find out what that was. But maybe they could leave that for a later date if they want to write characters back in as well. We've got such a massive cast of characters. Defense lawyers, their counterparts, what can work towards each other, work with each other. Let's go to the extras and DLC. I just want to have a, look, a little look at some of the illustrations here. You mean illustrations is just the pictures we saw during the game. Is there any extra? It's pages upon pages. Any concept art? Doesn't look like it. There's special episode stuff that's added at the end. Man, that's a little bit of a chilling revelation. But here we are. We are complete. Everything is done. Life is good. And the launch so many people sacrifice their lives to kind of constantly work towards has been achieved. <sighs> and so with that said and done, we leave you for yet another series of Phoenix Wright. Of course, I will do more in the future. Whenever that may be, time will tell. It might be as long as this moon rock launched into orbit and returned with evidence. Most likely won't be. Stay tuned for more Let's Plays on the channel. And I hope you enjoyed all the weirdness that this one brought forth. Of course, we are in the realm of games that I've never played, as I'd never played this one before. And of course, I haven't played the next one either, was, was it? I can't remember the name. Plus, there's other things to delve into. There's Miles Edgeworth Investigations, at least one. I know two's only a, a fan translation, as it were. It hasn't come out officially, but you never know what's coming out in the future, because Phoenix Wright is being released on more and more and more platforms. It is gaining a little bit of traction. There is money being earned from other sources that may propel the series ever onwards. That would be nice, wouldn't it? That'd be nice. It's got to be that it's a rumoured one for the Switch. Maybe we'll see a Phoenix Wright on the Switch too. I wonder how that will engage with like tilt controls and all that. What they try to use the gimmick for that as well. We've got three defence lawyers at this point in time. All I need is Mayor back. And I think we're quite set with the amount we've got on our law officers right now. Might even... Hey, to be honest, if you're going to character arc Phoenix right at some point in time, if Miles is chief prosecutor, then why can't Phoenix become a counterpart to that? I feel like they belong at the, echelon, the highest echelons of their law system to be able to dribble down what is their principles to everyone else. And so, we bring this to an end. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Have another great day, if you are having a great day. And I'll see you guys around. Cheers for your support. Not guilty verdict claimed. Bye-bye.